Welcome back to the show. I'm still hanging out with HGTV's Tarek El Moussa and Heather Ray Young from Netflix's Selling Sunset. So glad you guys could join us. Happy to be here. Yes. Happy for you guys. You found each other. It seems like a perfect match. You're both uh, realtor, like real estate gurus in your own right. So is there anything that you've learned from each other about the business since, uh, since you began dating? You know, we work in totally different worlds. Uh -huh. So I'm like strictly on the investment side and she sells these like amazing, amazing. crazy, yeah. you know, five, 10, 15, 20 million dollar houses. So it's like two different worlds. So mm. we love sharing our stories with each other because they're totally different, but they're both real estate. Yeah. Actually, Heather, talking about all the beautiful properties that you sell, we have a thing in Australia called mates rates, okay. where, you know, if you're friends with oh. someone, you get a discount. So uh, can I get a discount on like a 20 million dollar property? <laughs> Come out to California with me. I'll mm -hmm. take you home shopping and I will hook you up. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you're you. You're my new mate. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Now, when it comes to romance, what do you each bring to the table for each other? And you are in that honeymoon period, which is the best period. How do you make sure that it lasts you know we've been spending a lot of time together and obviously we've been recently dating and we just have so much fun yeah, yeah. so after all the hardships I've experienced and there's so many ups and downs in life that sometimes having fun is like the best medicine yeah. so we really focus on having fun and living life and just enjoying each other's company and yeah. going out to dinner and going boating and I'm oh. talking too much because I'm excited <laughs> I love it Are you gonna do a Tom Cruise couch <laughs> jump because you can go 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 um, I'll probably fall off the stage and break my neck and then the whole thing's over and, we get sued and, <laughs> and then I get sad because then yeah no yeah, and then you have so to go on the bachelor what is a typical date night for you guys I mean we just like to do normal fun things together we go to dinner we watch movies what else? Yeah. We're, I've, he's been coming to LA. I've been going down to see him. Yeah. Um, I sent my boat up to LA a couple weekends ago. Surprised her yes. out there. He's That's... been very romantic. Wow. It's been, it's been very amazing. Oh, I love that. All happiness and smiles. Yes. yes. Well, we saw that on Instagram when you made your relationship Instagram official. Yes, Tons we did. of fish, y'all. Let's official. get that picture. That is so funny. Instagram official. Aww. We were, we were laying in bed last night, and I was like, I, the first time I thought about it, I looked at her, I'm like, this is so cliche. She's like, well, I'm like, we're like two reality stars that are now together. Yeah. Are we like the first people on reality TV to ever do that or like everybody does <laughs> you're that? You're groundbreaking. Right? Now you're gonna change your Facebook status to in a relationship. Like there's a whole oh, process. Oh, we like, haven't done that yet. Steps. What but, are you waiting for? I don't know, sorry babe. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, how have your followers received the happy news of the two of you being together? Yeah, I mean he has great supportive fans and they've now jumped to me and I've gained a lot of great followers and yeah. great fans and they have his back and now they have my back. So it's been very positive. That's wonderful because I think you know people love a, a good love story particularly in this day and age there's so much sad news out there it's always wonderful to see two good people find one another especially after you said you know you've been through a lot yeah. um, in the last couple of years what's been the scariest part of starting a new relationship in the public eye after ending a relationship in the public eye um, there's no real fear there because I mean everybody knows everything about me there's not really anything I like I can hide so I, it is what it is um, but for me, becoming vulnerable again is something new. So I'm definitely opening up and I'm learning to speak freely and I'm learning to love again and all that stuff. So, That's yeah. wonderful. And Heather, for you, was it intimidating at all to start dating someone who was once one half of a very popular TV couple? I never thought of it like that. Um, I think he's an individual and I'm very supportive of their show and them working together. So I wasn't intimidated by it. I just got to know him and we really like each other. Yeah. Plus I'm really beautiful, you know? So Both it, of you it, doesn't, are. it doesn't hurt. I mean, <laughs> It's, uh, it's you're very unfair for two people to be so attractive. <laughs> now, Tara, okay, I was lying here, but I'll take it. <laughs> now, we know you from Flip or Flop, obviously, which is in its eighth season. Yeah. Um, other than working alongside your ex-wife, what are some challenges that we can expect to see you face in this season? Oh, it's actually a really, really good season. One of the great things about the show, it's been on so long. Mm. Kids have been born, kids are raised, divorce has happened, and you know what? Designs have changed. Yeah. It's been on that long that home design has changed. So. This season, fresh designs, new looks, and it's gonna be super cool, super fun. And the best part about it is, guess what? I'm allowed to say no to things now, so I save money. Mm -hmm. So I'm allowed to win some of those arguments now. Oh, I like that. And yeah. then you have a new show in the works called Flipping 101, which is gonna be on air next year. What can you tell us about that new series? So the new show is Flipping 101 with Tarek El Musa. That would be mm -hmm. me. Hey. Um, hey, I think I'm wearing, no, a different <laughs> shirt. And um, I'm really excited about the project because it gives me an opportunity to take all my skills, all my expertise that I've spent the last 10 years developing and work with rookie flippers. Yeah. And you would think, it would be a boring show, because that's what I first thought. To be honest with you, I'm like, I'm gonna walk in, tell them to do things, they're gonna do them. And I was totally wrong. I shot the pilot, I'm like, okay, you have to do A, B, C. And I come back, they did Z, X, Y. It's like, what are you doing? Right. Like, they try to turn the garage into a party pad. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't put it, what are you talking about? 
made great TV. That's amazing. <laughs> well, look, as a as a, a hopeful future flipper myself, what is the number one mistake that rookie flippers make other than turning garages into pirates? <laughs> well, the one mistake is they don't actually take the time to get educated so they understand what they're doing. So right. it's very important because if you make mistakes flipping houses, you can lose a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but you know what? A lot of people don't realize this. You make your money when you buy. So a lot of times people will buy a house that's a piece of junk and they'll pay too much for the house. Mm -hmm. Just because it's a piece of junk doesn't mean it's a good buy. Right, okay, good to know, good to know. And then Heather, you have your own show on Netflix. It's yeah. called Selling Sunset. Mm -hmm. Guys, you can go and watch the entire season right now. How are you enjoying your life as a realtor turned reality star? I mean, it was definitely, the first season was definitely tough for us because you know we, we're all real estate agents, so we had cameras following us and bringing them into that life. Yeah. Um, but it's been fun. Like, I'm best friends with the cast, and we love being together, so now we just have cameras in front of us. It's been great. That's awesome. Will there be a season two? We don't know yet. Fingers crossed. Looking good, but we don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, look, as we've already discussed, you've been through so much in the last couple of years. You've fought cancer. You've been through a divorce. What would you say has been the greatest lesson you've learned, and how are you applying it to life these days? You can always come back. I love can, that. Doesn't matter how bad it gets, you can always come back. I love that. There's, awesome. always, there's always a second chance. Being positive. You're going to make me cry. So <laughs> in that note, guys, thank you so much for joining thank me you. today. Congratulations on finding each other, on thank all you. your shows, and all of your success. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to see how your story unfolds. So thank come you. back anytime.